Alright guys, so today we are going to be doing Tu Ching number 95. So we're just going to start in with where we left off. So the first item that I have was this large wooden crate. This said Peter's ammo. It was just a large wooden crate that would have had ammunition in it. Um, anyway, Eric and I won this at an auction and it did sell for a best offer of $164.99. So um, like I said, this was a best offer. So the price you see isn't the price that it actually sold for. It sold for $164.99. Uh, next item we have uh, was for a lot of two men's Avon Perceive Cologne. These sold for $19.98 because I did sell two of those. Um, those came from an auction and I'd say I paid a dollar a piece for those. Uh, this next item was a clothing piece. This was just a top by St. Tropez West. This sold for $5.99. That did come from a fill -a bag rummage sale. Um, just there are some clothing pieces that I have that I should probably just take down because they're really not worth anything and they're just sitting. Some clothing is very, very, very hard to resell. Definitely all depends on brand and things like that. Next item I have was a Lush perfume in the scent Sultana. This sold for $45.99 and that was actually in one of my Lush um, subscription boxes. I actually have a full size bottle of it up on my shelf so I didn't feel like I needed um, the smaller bottle. Um, in my last cha-ching, I'm pretty sure these were the same boots you saw. I said that I had two of them. So this was for the other pair. This was um, a pair of Red Wing steel toed boots. Those sold for a best offer of $99.99. And those, I'm pretty sure, came from a yard sale. And I'd say we paid less than $20 for them. I sold a 1977 Hot Wheels. This was a Trans Am that sold for $4.99. This was just on a tray of some stuff that I won at an auction. I wasn't even going to list it, but I did. It did sell um, fairly quickly. Um, as far as Hot Wheels go, um, you want to look for the red lines. It's basically, um, you know, on the wheel, it'll have like a red line around the rim. So obviously this one was not a red line, but people still do buy Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars. Um, I actually did just purchase like a really large case of them. So I have to go through them. I don't know if there's any red lines in there um, quite yet, but I'm probably going to just list it all together in a lot. Um, next we have a Bath and Body Works. This was a Vanilla Noir powder spray. So basically it was powder in this like um, perfume atomizer. So it would like spray powder, fragrance powder on you. It's kind of cool. Definitely an older Bath and Body Works item. That's over $29.99. And I got that at a yard sale like I'm talking ages ages ago. And I had it for a while but I just never used it. So I decided to list it. Um, next we have, this is by a company called Walco. It was a spring beauty beaded doll kit. So there are these little like crafting kits that you could have gotten back in the day using like styrofoam and it would come with like sequin beads and stuff like that. And you put like little push pins to put the, the sequins and everything in. So some of these can sell really well. This one sold for $22.50, which isn't much because I probably paid a quarter or 50 cents for it at a yard sale. Next item did go to, um, I'm not sure if this was a subscriber, but it definitely was someone who purchased from me before of the name Tiffany. So I just want to um, throw that out there just in case it was a subscriber or could have just been a repeat, repeat buyer. Uh, but this was for one of my Stife Winnie the Pooh plushes of Piglet. That's over $149.99 and that did come from an auction. Eric and I had won, um, quite a few of like Stife Winnie the Pooh plushies. I think I have one more left, I wanna say. Um, I sold a pair of denim 24-7 jeans for $15.99. These came from the Facebook Marketplace garbage bag of clothes. I feel like it's been, I always feel like it's been a while since I mentioned that. Um, but yeah, 
still selling stuff from those garbage bags. Uh, next item I have is a vintage Ken sweater. Um, so this was just um, a Ken Barbie piece, but an older one that sold for $9.99. That came from, I got like a large Barbie doll case um, just filled with vintage. There was vintage Barbie clothes in there. There were some Ken clothes. There were some, you know, the homemade type of clothes. Um, I'm still trying to get through all that, but I did win that at an auction. Um, next we have a Matchbox Models of Yesteryear car that sold for $39.99. Eric won that at an auction. Next item to go to a subscriber named Christine. This was a Mr. John wool hat. This was so pretty. That sold for $19.99. That did come from an auction. And I'd say I paid $5 or less for it. Um, we sold an office DVD set for $35.99. Eric picked this up at a yard sale. And I think he paid about... Um, I want to say $10 for that. Um, also sold a vintage perfume. This was from 1971 by Amway. It was called Per Chance. That sold for $12.99. I had that for a very long time. Um, I remember, I'm pretty sure I picked it up at a yard sale. So I probably paid a dollar or less for it. Um, we sold another manga lot. This one was called Ruruni Keshin. That sold for $69.99 that came from the same auction where we got the Naruto mangas and all of the um, Funko Pops. I sold a vintage Cooper flight jacket for $129.99. I actually picked this up at a thrift store and I'd say I paid less than $20 for it. So that one was a good sale. Uh, this next item was a Christmas moose figure by a company called Grandin Road that sold for $99.99. That came from a yard sale, and I think we paid $10 or less for that. I also sold a Brother P-Touch label printer. This was brand new, still sealed. That sold for $99.99 as well, and Eric and I picked this up at a yard sale, and I'm pretty sure it was $3, but it was five or under. The next four items went to Sandra, a subscriber. So she purchased a little kitty cat in a boot. This was a toothpick holder, which I'm assuming it was a toothpick holder. Uh, that sold for $12.99, and that probably came from a yard sale, so a dollar under. She also purchased a Cindy Crawford exfoliator for $12.99, and that came from an auction on a tray of, um, like, Cindy Crawford beauty products that I purchased, and you saw a lot of those in past stitchings. She also purchased another Cindy Crawford item. This one was a face cleanser for $17.99 from that same tray, and she also purchased a Gloria Vanderbilt perfume for $9.99, and I think that one came from a yard sale. So again, a dollar or under. I sold a pair of vintage Oshkosh bib um, shorts. Those sold for $49.99 and those came from a yard sale as well. I'd say one to two dollars on those. I also sold another Cindy Crawford item. This was a dark spot treatment for $29.99. Came from that same tray of Cindy Crawford items. Our next item went to a subscriber named Deborah. This was for a Department 56 Little Bug Ornament that sold for $25.99. And that came with all those ornaments that I got last year. And I got more stuff from the same lady this year. And you guys saw a lot of that Halloween stuff. Um, like one of my past hauls. I actually got a couple more pieces from her. So I will be listing... Um, a couple more like folk arty um just whimsical <laughs> um halloween items next we have a bath and body works body spray in violet lily sky that sold for 16 dollars and 99 cents that came from a yard sale so a dollar under is usually what i pay for um body sprays i also sold a this is from 1991 avon rose garden plush doll that sold for $29.99 and that came from an auction and I got it for free. Um, at one auction that I go to a lot of the times when 
people are buying something, especially if it's on like a tray of stuff and they only want like one thing off the tray. Um, some people will either pass it around to other people and see if they want anything and then the rest just gets thrown in the trash. Um, so this doll was headed to the trash can so I grabbed it. So you know, someone was about ready to throw away 30 bucks. That's why a lot of the times when I'm at the auction, even if I get a tray full of, you know, if I only wanted one thing, but there's like other stuff on the tray, I'll take it home with me and I'll make sure that there's nothing on there like worth money first before I throw it away. Um, cause yeah, just like, I don't know, it was like, Earlier this month or last month, um, someone was going to throw away one of those craft cheese singles boxes that I've been selling, like easy $20 there they were going to throw away. And it's like, oh my gosh, no way. Don't be throwing away 20 bucks. Um, next we have a Lancome Tresor perfumed lotion that sold for $19.99. Um, again, that probably came from a yard sale, I want to say, so a dollar or less. Uh, next item was a Juicy Couture. This was a vintage Juicy Couture messenger bag that sold for $79.99. I got that at a yard sale and I'm pretty sure I paid $5 for that. I sold another pair of vintage Oshkosh bibs. These ones were footies. They had little feet on them. So stinking cute. Those sold for $39.99. I'm pretty sure I got them at the same sale. I got that last pair and I'm pretty sure I paid $2 for those. I sold two Elizabeth Arden lipsticks for $19.98. Those came from a yard sale, and I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar a piece for those. I sold a Department 56 blacksmith figure for $25.99. So this was just like a little figure that would go with one of the Department 56 villages. That came, I believe, from an auction. Next we have a vintage Disney clear vinyl tote bag that still has the tag attached. That sold for $12.99 and I got that at an auction for a dollar. I sold a torrid top. This one had birds all over it. Very pretty. That sold for $29.99 and that one probably came from the thrift store. So I'd say $3.99 to $4.99 I paid for that. Um, I did actually just go to a yard sale last week I think it was and I got like a bunch of torrid clothes for a dollar a piece so I was really excited about that um haven't gotten any of it listed yet but <laughs> they will be up at some point um this we have an ever after high this was called a secret chest that sold for $39.99 that came from a yard sale I think I paid two or three dollars for it I once found this brand new it's still in the packaging and that one sold really high. Um, definitely if you ever come across these, people want them. Um, next is a City Beauty Wrinkle Filler. That's over $49.99 and that came from a tray I won at the auction. I think I had in my last Jing a bunch of City Beauty items that sold. Um, next item was a top by a company called Maeve that sold for $39.99 and that came from a yard sale and I'd say I paid about $3 for that one. I sold a Yankee candle topper. This one had lilacs all around it. That sold for $23.99. That came from an auction. It was on a tray of some Yankee candles that I had won. Um, the, some of the Yankee Candle Toppers can sell really well. It just depends. Like, if you ever find one, I'd definitely look it up just to make sure um, that it's not one that sells <laughs> really well. Because I think $23.99 for a candle topper is pretty good. I sold a vintage My Little Pony Firefly and her baby for $19.99. Those came from a yard sale. Um, it was a church sale where I got like a My Little Pony stable. It was filled with ponies and accessories. And I think I sold all the ponies and a lot except for these two I put together separate. I sold a Viking Glass Green Stretch Console Bowl for $66.99. That came from a thrift store and I feel like I paid about six dollars or so for it. Like I couldn't believe it when I saw it sitting there. It was kind of just one of those Ah, type of moments. 
Um, next we have another City Beauty item. This one was a wrinkle filler. Oh, I had one before too, so I sold this twice within this ching. Um, I had more than one. Anyway, that one also sold for $49.99. That's why I was saying in my last ching, I sold out of all of my City Beauty items. Next, we have a Bill Elliott trucker style hat that sold for $12.99. Eric won a tray full of Bill Elliott racing hats at an auction, and they've been selling here and there. Oops, almost knocked my phone over. Next three items went to a subscriber named Sandra. She purchased a Calla Lilies trinket box by a company called Kieto that sold for $12.99. That did come from a yard sale. I'd say I paid a dollar for that. Um, she also purchased a Chanel Coco Mademoiselle perfume for $89.99. That came from a beauty tray I won at an auction. And she also purchased uh, another toothpick holder um, I had was a little frog and a mushroom that sold for $12.99. And I'm pretty sure I picked that up at a yard sale and I think I might have paid just $0.10 cents for it. I sold a ping golf bucket hat for $23.99. That came from an auction and I'd say I paid a dollar for it. I also sold, oh, this one was a good one, a vintage Fisher Price bunny. This was a pink bunny rabbit, like security blanket, lovey. Um, that sold for $189.99. I paid $1 for that at a yard sale. I couldn't believe it. I didn't even look it up when I purchased it. I just saw that it was Fisher Price. It was cute um, and it was cheap. <laughs> and I was like, well, this has got to be worth more than a dollar type of thing. And when I looked it up, when I got in the car, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Holy crap. So the other week I found another like vintage Fisher Price um, kind of toy, like stuffed animal. And again, I was like, you know what? I better look this up just in case. And lo and behold, the last one sold for $100. So I kind of scored again. I haven't listed that one yet, but you will see it in an upcoming um, haul video. Um, let's see. I also sold a Dimensions Dollhouse Cross Stitch Kit for $99.99. Some cross stitch kits can sell really well. It just depends on the subject matter. And apparently dollhouses are really hot. So um, I'm pretty sure I won this at an auction for a buck. So it's amazing to me when I can turn a dollar into an adult dollar, <laughs> basically. So those are the kind of sales that I absolutely love and live for. <laughs> um, and then the last thing that I have for this chain was for a Battle Beast figure. This was from 1987. This sold for $9.99. And that came from like a Ziploc baggie of just some random toys that I purchased at a yard sale. I paid a dollar for the baggie and I've just been selling like little pieces of things um, as I go. I think um, in my last cha-ching was it, um, there was like a little Transformers engine block piece that sold. That was from the same Ziploc bag. So it was definitely a good baggie full of some older toys and toy pieces. Um, but that is everything for this cha-ching, I know I've been saying like I need to like buckle down and get more cha-chings done um, just to keep getting caught up and not have that issue where I had that last time where eBay, um, you know, took off my my sold um, listings and I didn't have time to like write them down and everything. So I need to buckle down and get more onto that. I've just been really busy. That's why I haven't been posting as frequently here lately which I apologize for it's just it gets to be so so much and I mean thankfully now I have Eric helping me um I mean I'm sure most of you probably know but I don't know if I ever even mentioned it um Eric quit his job um last year was it I feel like it was last year um, so he could help me. I kind of pretty much hired him <laughs> to help me. So he's been amazing. Um, so I've definitely been getting way more stuff done because of his help, but I definitely feel like I need more help. Um, I'm hoping at one point within 
my eBay career that I'll be able to hire someone even if it's just someone to help like take pictures and stuff like that just something to help cut down on the time of getting things listed because a lot of our time really um, we do a lot of sourcing we're at auctions a lot and I honestly wish I could hire someone to go to auctions for me and you know I give someone a list and that's what I do with Eric like I'll do all the research I let him know what to bid on how much to bid on it and what I could potentially sell the item for that way when he goes in if I'm not there with him he knows exactly how much to bid so that we make you know the best profit and that type of thing so if i could get someone to do that for me so that i could have him to you know stay at home and help with like listing and photographing and all of that other stuff because you know i'm still also trying to record videos edit videos make videos just to you know have content here on my youtube channel because you know i enjoy this aspect just as much as the reselling aspect so yeah i definitely need more time in the day and more help basically um but you know i'm not quite ready yet i'm not quite there yet that i'd be able to um you know actually employ anybody but that is like a dream you know a dream but i say that and the fact that like when I was working, like, to resell full time was always a dream of mine. I've been reselling since 2000. I started reselling in 2000. So, <laughs> you know, it was a long time ago um, that I started reselling. So, but it was only a short period of time where I finally decided to try to do it full time and thankfully knock on wood it's been going really well for me um but you know so that was always a dream of mine and that dream came true then I was like oh I wish I had Eric to help me I wish that he could quit his job and work for me that dream came true so now I'm just kind of like trying to make other parts of my dreams come true as far as that goes but it's just it is a lot of work and you guys know that those of you who resell you know how much work is involved with it um so all of that on top of you know editing and making videos it gets to be a lot a lot of work but I'm not complaining at all this is my dream pretty much come true so um, I'm just kind of trying to keep at it and just keep keep chugging along that's all that's all you can do you just can't quit there's no quitting involved basically so but yeah, as far as eBay goes, I think things are going um, pretty well. Uh, I've been selling a lot of Halloween related stuff, which is awesome. I mean, I think a lot of people are in the Halloween mood. See it all over the stores right now. So people are looking to shop and add to their Halloween decorating and that type of thing. So definitely if you have any Halloween stuff, I always say list holiday stuff all year long. But I'm just saying, if you have any Halloween right now in your death pile, go get it. Go get it out of there and get it listed because people are looking for it right now. Right this minute, there are people looking for Halloween. So that's pretty much everything for this cha-ching video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you have to let me know what you thought down in the comments, how things are going for you and all of that good stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.